Did you know that you are a powerful creator? The power resides within you already to turn the corner in your life and move into a land flowing with dreams coming true, ease and flow, where peace and joy is your portion, where affluence and influence is the byproduct of your own very nature. See, you are powerful. But this message, this message comes with a warning that perhaps is a little triggering. But if you will heed the warning and follow the steps that I show you in this video, you will find yourself on the other side of this thing. Resting back in the arms of your true power and strength. And when you find yourself there, you find yourself in a season of life where all of the things that you have dreamed of begin to show up. It's not magic. It's not even luck. What it is, is alignment. This is called a destiny moment. And today I want to unpack it for you so that you can have one too. Come on, let's kick into it. Hello, glorious you. Welcome to Elevate. I'm Ben. I love you. I do. I'm thankful for you that you would show up and show your kindness and your graciousness and your support and your encouragement to me. And I'm thankful for your place in my life. I do appreciate you, friend. Make sure you are subscribed because I'm here all of the time encouraging you, lifting you up, sharing with you the things I learned studying for a degree in counseling. We love talking about the spirit. It's all here. And today is no different, though a short one, but I hope it's impactful for you. I hope it empowers you to begin making different choices, lighting a match in a dark place and having no fear, but moving bravely with the light that is inside of you. See, there is light inside of you. You are exceptionally powerful. You are a powerful creator. And for so many of us, what we want is increase. We want increase in our love life. We want increase in our health. We want increase in our finance. We want increase in our career. We want increase in our influence. We want increase in our families. We want increase in our love. We want increase in our peace. We want increase in our joy. And all of these things are good things, but just saying you want more joy or more happiness or more peace or more money or whatever it might be, ain't gonna get you there. But you're still a powerful creator. There's something you have to do. You have to position yourself for increase. Yes, it is incumbent upon you to position yourself for increase. Now, the power comes when you stop making this personal, but instead look at the evidence that lies in the lives of people around about you. It's so much easier, particularly initially, to find the evidence of these very deep spiritual things in the lives of people in society. And that helps us track a path back unto ourselves. If you want an increase, you have to position yourself for increase. You are a powerful creator. The scriptures tell us time and time again that our heart is the secret dwelling place of the Most High. The scriptures tell us that whatever we ask for, if we ask believing that we have already received it, it will be done. The scripture over and over and over tells us how to pray fervently, how to make our requests known to the divine in such a way that they will manifest. And when you deconstruct the language, it always comes back to thinking and feeling in a unified way. Praying is not reaching out to a divine sitting up in heaven judging the world. Praying is reaching out to a divine that lives and breathes inside of you. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your heart is the secret dwelling place of the Most High. The divine is inside of you. Therefore, all of the power that you require to move into destiny, to be positioned for influence, to be positioned for impact, to be positioned for increase, all of that does not come from an external force. It comes from inside of you, inside of me. Therefore, it's not the world. It's not up to the world. It's not the boss. 
It's not the bank, it's not the lottery company, it's not anyone except us and our ability to go inside of ourselves and commune with the divine in our own heart, in the Holy of Holies. And when you recognize just how powerful you are, you recognize that it is up to you to position yourself for increase. Now look at the world, listen to the conversations they are having. Listen to what it is that they are saying through their actions. Are they positioning themselves for increase? Or are they positioning themselves for more of the same? Listen to the stories that people tell. You wouldn't believe what happened to me at work last week. My boss is such a jerk. I couldn't get this pay rise and I never get this and I feel so unappreciated. My partner just doesn't see me, they won't listen to me. I'm not saying ignore your problems and never speak about them. What I'm saying is wear your faith as a cloak of beautiful and vibrant colors. Wear your faith like you would your heart on your sleeve. Get it out there and start to expect something greater. Start to turn the corner in your inner conversation because if you keep talking, not just to other people, but to yourself about everything that's wrong, you make that the center of your world and the thing that you focus on always expands. Where you send your attention is the same place you send your energy. And where you send energy, you send expansion. That's why if you focus on that trauma, even from childhood, and you replay it over in your mind, and you speak the conversations in your mind, and you see the pictures in your mind's eye, it's real like it is happening now. It's time to turn the corner with that and understand that for you to make an impactful difference in your own world and to experience something new, it's up to you to position yourself for more. It's up to you to position yourself for increase. You position yourself for increase by changing your inner conversation to one that exhibits faith, one that exudes faith. What is faith? Faith is the evidence of things hoped for. It's the very substance of that which remains unseen. Faith is the substance that you have until the thing shows up. Faith is the substance of that which right now is unseen. If you have that faith and you hang on to that faith and you expand that faith and you keep that faith the center of your world and you stay in peace, then that faith will usher in a change in reality, a change in destiny. This is how you pray and get an answer to your prayer. You have to align yourself for increase. You are a powerful creator, and I'm here to tell you I love you, I'm thankful for you, but you create the own drama in your life with your inner conversation. You create the problems that you have right now with what you focus on in your mind. You create the financial pressure because of how you feel about debt and finance. You create the relationship dramas because the things that you choose to focus on expand them. You can change that. It's a decision. It takes practice. It takes repetition, it takes diligence, it takes commitment. But nothing will change until you make that commitment and you instigate the change. It's not the world, it's you and I. And when you are big enough to recognize that and step into your shoes as a powerful creator and recognize that you are in control of this locomotive, you are in command of this freight train and you can turn it around and position yourself for increase. Putting yourself in the spot where increase rains down. Why? Because you are a powerful creator because the inner conversation has changed to, I deserve increase. I am worthy of increase. I am blessed and cannot be cursed. I'm above only, not beneath. The facts of life don't matter. The universe is catching up. The divine goes ahead of me, making every crooked place straight. I'm hedged in protection. I'm basically invincible. When you meet every day, every opportunity with this faith, with this expectation of higher good, Higher good is what finds you. Until it is with you, stay in faith.
until it is with you. Stay focused on the substance of that which is so far unseen. It's just a matter of time, friend. I love you and I'm thankful for you and I hope this has encouraged you today. If it has, do me a solid. Share it with someone. Subscribe. Tell me. Encourage me in the comments and I'll come back and encourage you too. Because I am thankful for you and I do appreciate you. But that's all I've got today, friends. I will look forward to seeing your smiling faces again real soon.